everybody, this is Chris and Charlie, and we cannot wait to see you in our virtual classrooms in just a couple of days. We hope you are having a fun, relaxing, stress-free spring break. So from me and Charlie, take care. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Professor Ferris from the Portland campus. You know, hope and resilience are really strong things. They're things that we all have and that we can continue to foster as a community even when we're apart. There's a quote from Helen Keller that I stumbled upon recently that I'd love to take the opportunity to share with y'all. And it's that character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. That only through the experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Let's continue to achieve, inspire, and succeed. Hey students, this is Dave Sumner from the English department. I just wanted to tell you that we're all going through a rough time right now, but we're with you. And we are going to make sure that you get the quality Linfield education that you signed up for. So stay healthy, study hard. We're going to work this out, and we hope to see you soon. Hey there, Wildcats. I'm at a very empty Maxwell Field, and I'm not going to lie, this place is a lot nicer when you guys are here. But right now, we need to create some space and distance. That's the duty we owe to each other to keep each other safe. But I want you to know that just because we're apart doesn't mean you're alone and it doesn't mean that we're not together. We are a learning community and we're going to get through this learning together until the day that we get to share a classroom. So be safe, wash your hands, and take care of yourself. Go Cats! Hey guys, Jen Williams here. Uh, I just finished a workout um, online, which was pretty fun, working out with a bunch of my friends that I normally work out with, but here in my game room. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all that I love you and I miss you. Uh, if you have a chance, look up the poem um, Pandemic by Lynn Unger. Uh, it talks about Sabbath rest and the time to cease. Um, and I think that's really appropriate for right now. So take this time as an opportunity uh, to learn and grow. Uh, know that we at Linfield love you and support you. And um, we're here for you if you need anything. We can do this, guys. Take care. Hey there, Cisco Reyes from HHPA. Just a short message to the Linfield community, especially to the students. Stay strong. We got this. Even though we may be miles apart, we can still work together as a team. Let's make sure that we do our job of social distancing as well as staying healthy so we can get through this faster, help other people, and finally get back to campus. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay strong. Hi everyone, I hope that you're safe and settled in wherever you are. I wanted to share with you that your Linfield faculty have been working over the past couple of weeks together and with colleagues and collaborators all across the country to develop new and exciting ways to support your learning online and to bring us all together in a virtual community. We look forward to the start of classes and research next week and to connecting with you again. Take care and we'll see you soon. Hello Linfield, we're here to send a message of joy and hope. I'm here with two of my favorite people. Over here. Luna. And over here. It's Luna. And Luna, what do you have to say to the students? I hope you have a good rest of your semester. And Brando, what do you have to say to the students? Um, you, you two. Oh. <laughs> Luna, what are you going to say? What do you want to say to the students? Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. We'll see you soon on the Bye. internet. Bye! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Wildcats. As we settle into this new normal, please take care of yourself, stay connected, and stay informed. We're still here to support you, so please contact Career Development and we can help you continue your job or internship search. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. So I won't be teaching in Taylor for a while. After the break, I'll be teaching remotely from my moon base. As you can see, I have everything I need to keep my classes rolling. I've been slowing down to focus on life's core experiences, caring for friends and family, thinking, and dreaming, and watching Earth rises. Still, I keep my rig at the ready, and when we come back together, Winfield will be stronger for this experience. Stay well and stay in touch. Hello, Linfield students. Uh, this is Greg Jones, uh, 
March 26th, I'm out in a vineyard here in the Willamette Valley. Uh, the buds are getting close to uh, breaking. They know spring is around the corner. Uh, the grower has pruned, prepped the vines, and looks like we're ready for a nice new uh, start to the gross growing season. It's unfortunate that we are in this situation where we are right now, uh, but I'm ready to go online next week and hope to provide my classes the best information I possibly can. We all have some challenges to kind of face and uh, I hope we can make the best of it. Uh, just like these vines are gonna make the best of this spring and hopefully have a really good vintage. I think you will too. Thank you. Hey there, just wanted to say hello and hope that you are well and practicing social distancing right now. I also wanted to give a big shout out to the 50 students or so who took my zombie apocalypse class this past January term. Hopefully you learned a few things and you're able to help those around you with that knowledge. Uh, we all need each other right now. We hope to see you around here soon. Take care. Hey there, Wildcats and Wild Pucks. We're so sorry we don't get to see you right now. We miss you. Um, but we'll see you online. And when life gets back to normal, we look forward to seeing you in person for some pug therapy. Bye. Hi, Linfield students. On Monday, we get to come back together again, albeit virtually. Professors have been working hard to learn how to teach remotely, and I believe that you will probably be able to teach us a few things. At least it'll be entertaining, and I believe that all of us will be on a learning curve. But you know what? I know we can do this. Go Wildcats! Hey, Linfield, hang in there. You can only do what you can do. Don't sweat the stuff that you can't control. There's a lot out there that we have no control over right now. You are enough. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Hello, Wildcats everywhere. We realize that this is a challenging time for you as you try to navigate this new online learning mode. Our students who were studying abroad this semester had to cut short their semester abroad and they are also trying to navigate this new online learning mode across oceans. Our message is that we are here for you. We want to help. If you need assistance, please ask. Please take care of yourself. Be well. Be safe. We are One Linfield. Hi everyone. I just want to say I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please remember that although this situation isn't fun for anyone, it's temporary. We can get through this. Just keep going, stay positive, and take care of yourself. Go Cats! Hi Wildcats! Cooper and I already miss seeing you all on campus when we go on our walks, but know that even though you are not here physically, your faculty and your staff are working really hard remotely to connect with you and support you in innovative ways. These are really hard times and we're here for you. We can't wait to see you again and we can't wait to continue to engage with you for the rest of the semester. Yes, it's true. We're spending a little more time in our pajamas than usual. But here's another truth. It's you, our amazing Linfield students, that give our work so much meaning. We're here for you and we'll do everything we possibly can to make this semester as rewarding as possible. Stay healthy and see you soon. Hey everyone, um, I know the last couple weeks have been extremely challenging for everybody in a lot of aspects and I uh, just wanna encourage you all to stay positive and find the good in the situation and know that it won't last forever. You have people who love and care about you um, who are here to support you. Stay strong, stay positive, and most importantly, stay connected. To all of our students, I hope you have an amazing spring break and that you are able to take some time to connect with one another. And we look forward to having you back virtually after spring break. Please know that your faculty and staff are all here to support you and to make sure you have a great education from Linfield. Go Cats! Hello, students. It's Natalie and Hank here to tell you that I hope you're staying healthy, staying mentally and physically healthy and staying inside, most importantly, and just 
taking care of yourself and your families. We miss you so much at Linfield and we can't wait to be back on campus with you soon. Ooh. Hey Linfield Wildcats. I'm here in my kitchen in my makeshift office instead of in the Michael Book House. I'm adjusting to my new environment and I'm confident that you are too. I really miss seeing you around campus and I especially miss our awesome admission ambassadors. I know that this term isn't turning out at all how you had planned earlier this year, but I know one day you'll look back and you'll be amazed at how resilient you were through this time. Finish strong and wash your hands. Students, welcome back for the last two months of the semester. It's gonna be an interesting time, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna make it work for you. You're gonna come out of here and we're gonna get through all this. And then next fall, we'll get to get back together again and you'll be coming back to Linfield University. So hang in there, you can do this. Hi, Linfield. Uh, I'm Daniel Pollock pelsner I teach Shakespeare. This is my daughter, Maya. Wanna say hi? Hi. And I hope you guys are doing well, I miss you. I've been thinking about what to do while we are all separated at our houses. And there's been this meme going around online that uh, when Shakespeare was locked up in his place during the plague, he apparently wrote King Lear. And I think a lot of people have been saying that to be like, if you're not writing King Lear, you are wasting your time. And I don't think that's true at all. King Lear is this horrifying vision of a society that's totally falling apart. So I hope you don't want to write King Lear right now. <laughs> but I was thinking about the end of King Lear when King and his beloved daughter, Cordelia, are, uh, they're going to prison, they're being arrested by the enemy, and they're gonna have to be basically under house arrest together. And Lear says to his daughter, we two alone will sing like birds in the cage. And it's, it's really moving because Lear was a really imperious ruler and he's only used we before like in the royal we to mean himself, <laughs> and now he's saying we to mean him and Cordelia together. And he says, we are going to sing like birds in a cage. You hear a little anticipation of Maya Angelou there who loved Shakespeare too. And I like that notion that when you're stuck inside, what you can do is sing together. So I hope you get a chance to sing when you're cooped up, when you're caged up, and that we get back together again soon. Maya, what should people sing if they are home together? Mm. High School Musical too. Up to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Linfield, we're going online, and everybody's here to support you. Just some encouraging words on this great first day of spring. We'll see you online on Monday the 30th. Stay tuned for more information from all of us. Thank you. Hi, Linfield Wildcats. This is Coco. She's the closest creature I have to a wildcat at my house. I know I speak for all of us who work at Linfield. We choose Linfield because of you, the students. We believe in you, we miss you a lot, and we're here for you. The Limpfield family, we're in this together, and we can do hard things. Take care. Hi everyone, Matt, Reese, and Nora. <laughs> here to wish you the best on your online studies. <laughs> hey Wildcats, how you doing? It's a nice day out here in the quad. A little, uh, little bit overcast, but otherwise kind of pleasant. Uh, hope everybody's doing okay realize this is a challenging time for folks but just know that we'll get through it and at the end of all this we're going to have some some great lessons and some great stories to tell keep well hey there you cool cats and kittens i know you're getting ready to start your online classes remember to be intentional with your time because our time apart is only temporary and your future is so bright hello in this challenging time that we're finding ourselves in, I'm reminded of the words of Frederick Buechner, who said, here is the world. Beautiful and terrible things will happen. Do not be afraid. Although I have to admit, I find it hard not to be a bit anxious in these moments. It's pretty common. In fact, the Judeo-Christian tradition in its sacred texts has the phrase, be not afraid, at least a hundred times in their texts. But how do we overcome it? I tend to think that we overcome it when we realize that we're not alone. We're not alone spiritually 
in the cosmic divine sense. We're not alone technologically. Social media helps us as we're doing right now. We're also not alone literally. I mean, family and friends of yours are likely at least six feet away from you right now. But you're also not alone because Linfield stands behind you, stands there to help get you through this as well from our side of things and from what we can do. I'm going online with my classes. And that's been a learning experience and a, and a fun one as well. And I think it'll benefit us all. Um, I'm also planning on being available to offer support and guidance during this time to whomever might want to chat. Call it chap chat, if you will. And I'll announce how to get in touch with me and the hours I'll be available through Linfield Ahead in the next week or so. Meanwhile, try a mantra I use daily, which I borrowed from Julian of Norwich, that medieval saint who wrote, all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. So be well, be smart, and stay healthy. Hi Wildcats, I just wanted to reach out to you directly as we enter this new phase. While there's no playbook to address what we're all going through, the biggest strength of Linfield has always been our community. I encourage you all to connect with various members of the community to make sure that we're all doing well. Here at Learning Support, we'll continue to offer all of our resources remotely. Let's stay connected. We got this. Let's go Wildcats. Welcome back Wildcats. Just want to let you know during these uncertain times, Linfield Career Development is here to help you. You're welcome to email career at linfield.edu and we'll set you up with an individual appointment via Zoom or phone call. Just to let you know that this is going to be okay. We're going to get through this and there'll be jobs and internships for you as we connect with our Linfield alumni and recruiters to make sure that happens. Thank you, go Cats, and have a great day. Hey friends! So first, I just want to acknowledge that this is not the semester we had planned for or that we had hoped for. But regardless, I hope that you use that time to take care of yourself and practice self-care this semester. And know that you have a ton of cheerleaders here at Linfield who are supporting you. So don't be afraid if you have questions or you need anything to reach out and ask for help. Um, we have a lot of really awesome things coming your way that I'm excited about, and we hope that you are doing amazing. Campus is empty without you. We miss you. Hey, Linfield, I know this wasn't the semester we planned on, but we'll get through this. Remember to create a schedule and stick to it. Do your most important things first part of the day. What's up, Wildcat Nation? I seriously miss seeing all your wonderful faces around campus. Hang in there. These are weird times, but I look forward to seeing you all on the other side. Hello, Linfield students. Hope you're doing well. It feels really strange that we're not on Linfield's campus right now. Rather, we're all home, working, or trying to be a student. We all miss you very much. I know this is a difficult time for all of us. We'll get through this together. Please know that all the staff, faculty, and everyone in the Linfield community wants you to be successful in the short term and long term. Go Cats!